Spencer Dutton, Brandon Skleener, and Alexandra continue their trek to Montana in the episode titled Nothing Left to Lose. The situation at Yellowstone Ranch deteriorates rapidly at the same time. The confrontation between Donald Whitfield and Jacob Dutton, played by Harrison Ford and Timothy Dalton, sets the stage for a traditional Western battle. The conclusion, however, raises a lot more issues than it answers. In order to find out what happened to the Dutton family, viewers must be interested. Without further ado, let's analyze 1923 Season 1's startling conclusion. Spoilers ahead. Father Renaud and Marshall Thomas first cross paths in the eighth episode, Nothing Left to Lose, as the latter looks into Tiana Rainwater's disappearance after Sister Alice and Sister Mary were killed. Marshall Thomas asks Father Renaud to join the Marshalls on their search for Tiana after inspecting the crime scene. After Hank's passing, Tiana reunites with Runs His Horse, her father, and Pete, Hank's son. To save Tiana from the Marshalls, the group keeps moving southward. The Yellowstone Cowboys travel to the city under the leadership of Jacob Dutton to see Banner Creighton's legal proceeding. Chadwick Benton, the attorney for Donald Whitfield, is defending Banner against allegations of manslaughter and attempted murder. Benton successfully persuades the judge that Jacob is also accountable for the murders of Banner's fellow shepherds, as the judge sets a date for a bail hearing. As a result, Banner is let go by the judge without posting bail. Banner publicly dares Jacob to a fight to resolve their disagreements, nevertheless, before he departs. Banner and Whitfield discuss their next strategy against the Duttons at the Stratford Ranch. As Banner wants to make amends with Jacob, Whitfield argues to him that they must act wisely. However, it could put Banner in jail, and Whitfield wants them to take away the Dutton family's land without causing any more legal complications. Later, Whitfield tortures Lindy and Chirsty, the two prostitutes hired by Banner, while seemingly preparing them for a bigger play. In order to get a loan to get through the winter, Jacob goes to the local band and offers his livestock as collateral. The cattle sector is no longer a bankable asset, thus the baker declines to make a loan. The banker suggests that Jacob take out a mortgage on his property and pay off the amount over a period of 30 years at a low interest rate. Jacob, however, takes satisfaction in not having a mortgage on his home and does not want to burden his family with debt. He rejects the offer as a result. Zane visits his family in the meantime while taking a break from his ranching responsibilities. He has two children with Alice, an Asian woman, whom he is married to. However, Whitfield's spy follows Zane and finds his family. He tells the local police, who arrive at the family's house and arrest Alice as it is illegal for her to marry a white man. Zane tries to protest, but the police knock him out before dragging Alice away. At the Yellowstone Ranch, Elizabeth suffers from a miscarriage and loses her baby, but Jack comforts her. Whitfield visits the Duttons and reveals he has paid their property tax, entitling him to the land's deed if Jacob fails to repay him. Separately, Spencer and Alexandra board the RMS Majestic for their voyage to England, but Alexandra is concerned about the presence of her ex-fiancé, Aruther, on board. After seeing her friend Jennifer again, Alexandra confesses that she is Spencer's wife. Spencer accepts Arthur's invitation to a battle after Arthur finds Spencer and Alexandra acting inappropriately after dinner. Spencer first declines the offer but changes his mind after hearing Arthur criticize Alexandra. Spencer defends himself by tossing Arthur off the ship at the end of the duel as Arthur pulls a gun. Since no one testifies in Spencer's behalf, he is taken into custody by the ship's authorities. Will Spencer and Alexandra reunite? Spencer and Alexandra are split apart in the closing scene of the episode. Spencer is taken into custody and put in jail following their duel. Spencer is removed from the ship on the orders of Alexandra's father, the Duke of Sussex, leaving her stranded in her stateroom. Jennifer, on the other hand, arranges Spencer's release from custody by telling Captain Hurley the truth. Spencer is informed of the situation by Captain Hurley who orders him to depart, while Jennifer releases Alexandra from her cabin. Spencer and Alexandra declare their love as Spencer is driven to the harbor in a boat at the episode's conclusion. Spencer and Alexandra are separated, but they make a commitment to reconnect. Spencer will meet Alexandra in Montana, she promises. 
Alexandra, though, will probably be returned to her family. Spencer's family in Montana, meantime, is in desperate need of him. Spencer does not have enough time to travel to London and save Alexandra. Spencer and Alexandra will thus need to put their trust in one another and travel to Montana. It is safe to assume that Spencer and Alexandra will reunite given their unwavering love for one another. Will the Duttons lose the Yellowstone Ranch? Jacob Dutton and Donald Whitfield engage in a thrilling confrontation in the episode's climax. The Dutton family is shaken by the business tycoon's arrival to Yellowstone Ranch. Before Whitfield can declare that he came in peace, the two sides pull their weapons on one another. Whitfield admits to covering Jacob's property tax. Jacob is entitled to the Dutton family's land because Whitfield paid the dues after he failed to pay the first installment of the biannual levy. Jacob must pay Whitfield back by the end of the year in order to have any chance of keeping his family's land. The Dutton family's survival is put in doubt by the conclusion, which raises the stakes. There is still a chance for Jacob and Kara to protect the Yellowstone Ranch from Whitfield's lewd behavior, though, as he is on his way home. They won't lose the Yellowstone Ranch in this generation, according to the narrative of the Dutton family in Yellowstone. The cost of the Dutton family's survival is still an unknown, though. Yet, the Duttons will win this battle if they put up a united front against Whitfield and his plans. Will Jack and Elizabeth have a baby? The conclusion does not leave the Dutton family without experiencing yet more catastrophe. The Dutton family experiences the devastating loss of John Dutton and his wife, Emma Dutton, earlier in the season. The Duttons and Banner get into a fight after their deaths, which puts them in a difficult situation. In the epilogue, Elizabeth and Jack miscarry and lose their unborn child. The good news in the protracted difficulty for the Dutton family was Elizabeth's pregnancy. Elizabeth also worries that she will never have children. The Dutton family tree's complexity is well known to viewers. Elizabeth and Jack's son is believed to be John Dutton Jr., the father of Kevin Costner's John Dutton. However, Jack urges Elizabeth to find a new purpose in life and compares her to Kara. Therefore, Jack and Elizabeth may find a way to raise a child. Whether that child is their own or someone else's remains to be seen.